Hey, it's Monk and Kelly with New Country Fresh off Music Row. And we have Brandon joining us. Uh, I call him Brandon Eye Candy is what I call him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, that's too much. That's okay. so, so, I'm so sorry. You get that all the time. I bet you get a lot of women that are fawning over you because, you know, let's face it, you're a good looking dude. Oh, well, I mean, I appreciate that. I, I'm modest, so I don't. I don't like to. Yeah. Uh, no, this is trickery. This is trickery. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, what yeah, they yeah, do, yeah. don't they? Well, he's got the Elvis look, you know, kind of going for him. So, uh, was Elvis one of your influences? Um, you know, that's, it's funny that you say that. There's lo there's several people that have like sent me pictures on Twitter that have like me and then Elvis, and it's like a you know yeah, like a little Western collage Western thing. Western. And they're like, you look just like Elvis. And I'm like, really? Like, I didn't. I don't. I don't see it. But I mean, that's cool. No, he's a Texas guy. So oh, okay. Yeah. Are your music stylings a little bit more uh, Texas country, or are you a Nashville? You've been in Nashville uh, quite a quite, quite a few a bit, years, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 I mean, I've been coming back and forth for, uh, home in Nashville. Uh, um, for three years probably and um, you know I, I wouldn't really consider my music like Texas country but I definitely have like different elements that I think is unique to Texas so sure. kind of and, like, what kind of elements are you talking about um, I don't know just I guess I guess Texas has like their own swagger <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. We lived there. We lived in Austin years ago. I noticed no hat, though. You yeah, know, and no. I always figure Texas and hats kind of go together. Yeah, yeah. See, I mean, I like to kind of break the mold and try not to be, you know, I, I don't like try to like fit in. I just be me, and that's who I am. You know. So, so if you're from Texas, obviously you've been to Chewy's. Oh yeah, Chewy's is great. Okay. Chewy's is, that like, is that like one of the best Mexican or best restaurants you've ever been to? Oh, uh, I mean, it's it's up there, Look, but this could be an endorsement for you. Look straight <laughs> in the camera; you never know. I will tell you, Papacitas. You like Papacitas? Yeah, yeah. yeah pop, pop, I, 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 here's my li here's my ranking okay. for Mexican food because I, I love Mexican food. That's okay. it's my favorite. Yeah. La Hacienda Ranch. Okay. You been there? Yes. yes. Incredible. Yes. Papacitas. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then probably Chewy's. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. No, that's yeah, a good that's, list. That's fine. It's a you good know, list. Very that's good. That's a list. top three list. And you know what? On any given day, one could beat the other, just like in the NFL. You know. So the question is, if it's not Elvis that was your main influence growing up musically, who was your main influence? Um, you know, in my very early early days when I just got into music, worship was was my biggest influence. Um, but it, as soon as you know, I started really songwriting in in more of a um, um, secular market, yeah. Uh, when I started going to Berkeley, that's when it kind of opened up and started looking towards new influences, and and I just fell in love with Keith Urban's music. I, I love, you know, his his songwriting, his singing, his musicianship is it's all incredible. So you play guitar? I do. I play I play guitar, I play piano, and kind of dabble. I try to play other things. I'm not I'm not. I wouldn't call myself great at any of them, but you know, I'm privileged to know at least a little bit on on most everything. What is it, what is it about Keith's style that you absolutely love? Uh, uh, he just has this thing. I mean, I love his melodies. You know, they just soar, and and the way he uses his vocals, and then just the the way he he fills in his guitar solos and stuff it's just it all it's so smooth and it sounds like so clear to me and Do just you like his uh, his his backside like my wife does when he gets up on stage she, she's like yeah, it's oh look at that, that. backside <laughs> no, i'm kidding you his know his flip side looks very good yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't say that I look look like either was backside. That's a bad question. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I forgive you. We'll, we'll just move on. Yeah. <laughs> so, so when you, when you're on the road and you're kicking back, you know, after after a gig, what do you do? What do you do to unwind? Um, oh, that's a great question. Um, I love watching movies and TV shows. So that usually just kind of I I love to like, get into other characters and you know watch other people's lives play out and feel like I'm a part of them. Obviously, you're not a part of their lives watching TV show, but you We've feel been married for 25 years. We do that all the time. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, so, so reality TV is your thing? Uh, no, not, not really reality TV. Um, more so scripted shows, but... And comedies I, or dramedies? Uh, action. Uh -huh. action. I love action and, and comedy, of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. right. What is the single's name? My first single... Um, and it's very fitting. <laughs> it's very appropriate. It's titled One. Very cool. Okay. And you have a story behind that? Um, actually, I, this isn't a song that I wrote. It's a song that we, we found from publishers. Because, um, you know, when we started making the record, it was, 
my whole thing was uh, I don't care if I wrote it or my next door neighbor wrote it or, or whoever wrote it I wanted to make sure that we have the very best songs possible and um, I first heard this song and I, I loved it and then once we got in the studio and recorded it I loved it even more and we we're like you know this this has to be the first one Is there, so what's the story behind it I mean what's this what's the story of the song yeah so the the whole premise of the song is like this guy just saying give me give me one chance give me one shot and and, and you're, you're gonna fall for me it, or at least I hope that that's the hope of course but just just let me have that opportunity to try to woo you to try to win you over so have you ever aimed that song at anybody in particular? <laughs> well, it's new. It's fresh. It's it's fresh. So uh, I haven't had an opportunity to yet. But <laughs> sure, I will. But I, I, it's it's a song that I, of course, can relate to in in past, and I'm sure most people that hear it can as well. Bo guy and female, male and female alike. So yeah. It's Brandon Chase. It's New Country, fresh off Music Row. <laughs> 